Hello Painting with a Purpose fans. So today we're going to do a fall painting. Um, I will go back and do a lot more Christmas and this is just the first of the fall paintings. Um, we have a lot on our list that we want to bring you guys so we're going to keep working on them. Today the colors that you're going to be needing is this teal color and then you will also need a light brown, dark brown, white, yellow, orange, and this is kind of like a burgundy color. If you don't have burgundy, just use red and mix in a little bit of purple, and that will give you your burgundy color. The brushes you will be needing today are your two inch brush for the background, a smaller flat brush, and your medium and small round. Don't forget to have your rag handy um, and a glass of water. I will not be rinsing any of my paintbrushes um, today, but you may want to. All right, to get started, I'm just gonna squirt some of this on my canvas like so. And then we're going to use, and we're going to go up and down. All right, now I'm going to take and I'm going to add a little bit of white to this. So I'm just going to dip my brush in and I'm just going to add some white. And I'm going to blend it in so that it makes the background a little bit lighter. Let it dry and then we're gonna start on our fence. Now that our background is most of the way dry, it does not have to be all the way dry for this next step, um, get your small flat brush and your light brown. If you don't have a light brown, just take um, a little bitty tiny bit of brown and add it to white. We're gonna make this look like the, the a fence. So, with that light brown, you're going to make two lines, one, maybe three, two, we're going to get right on the edge here, three. With this same light brown, we're just going to add some other little lines through here, like the wood grain. So, just a little, maybe there's a knot. another knot kind of right here and we're going to add a little bit of white
Now, when our background is completely dry, we will do our pumpkins. Forgot to add our little table. So down here at the bottom, uh, we're gonna put a little bit, a little table. So with your small flat brush and um, your light brown, we're just gonna add a little skinny, about an inch high table. And this is gonna be that light brown. And then just fill in all across the bottom. Now we're going to add a little bit of that dark brown in here, just a smidge, and we're going to do lines that are going to go the width of the canvas. And we're going to add a little bit of white in here and do the same thing. just to give it to where it looks like an old wood table. All right, go ahead and wipe your flat brush off. And now that we have our table, we are ready to get started on our pumpkins. All right, our first pumpkin is going to be orange and it is gonna be the biggest pumpkin. It's pretty much gonna go from side to side. Um, we do wanna leave a little bit of space up here for your stem, but it is pretty much gonna fill the whole page. I'm sorry, your whole canvas. And we're gonna start with your small flat brush doing a set of parentheses real super easy so you're gonna start um, about two inches down make sure you leave room for your stem and we're just gonna do a set of parentheses right along this edge here we don't want it to go off the edge just to the edge or it's like the letter C just like so. And then we're going to come and do the same thing on the other side. set of parentheses and this set is going to skirt this first set so it's going to kind of come up and touch that one it's going to come down And then you're going to do one more set in the middle that will touch. And then at the bottom, it's just one continuous. At the top, they kind of touch and meet. But then when it comes to the bottom, it's just like a heart. This last one is like a heart without a point. It's rounded at the bottom. Now you're just going to fill this in.
All right, we have one last thing that we're gonna do. I'm gonna put my initial for my last name right in the center of my orange, pump orange pumpkin. You can leave it like this with just the pumpkins. I'm gonna put my last initial on it. It does make a really cute fall door hanger. Um, if you can put your last initial on there. So we're at the dark brown. I'm going to try really hard to make this look really, really neat. With the dark brown, you would put the, in, the, the initial to your last name. If you want to. So here goes. Well, it looks better than I thought it would. With my hand being in this thing. I'm going to add a little bit of white to it. Just a little highlight. Maybe down through here. All right, guys, there is one fall painting, lots more to come. If you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe button. Keep looking um, for more stuff that we post. We also have our Facebook page. Check it out. Our Instagram at painting.with.a.purpose. On our Facebook page, we have some really cool swag, so you want to check that out. We have some super soft t-shirts with our logo on and some really heavy-duty aprons. Thanks for painting with me today. See you later.